Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on ASUS Zen for Max Pro M1. So in this particular video, we'll be going to see how to turn on the developer options in Android 10 for ASUS Zen for Max Pro M1 and M2. So firstly, let me confirm you that the phone is already having Android 10 installed. So Android 10, although I've already created a dedicated video on this in Android Pi, but some users do ask like brother, how to turn it on Android 10 and so on. So I thought let's create a video on Android 10 as well. So that this will surely helpful for the persons who has never tried these options. So we have already confirmed that I am on, like my phone is already having Android 10 installed. Now uh, the main agenda comes at how to turn it on. So for that you have to tap on about phone section, then just scroll below and find the build number, just tap seven to eight time. Until unless uh, if you haven't added any pin or pattern, then it will show you developer now. Otherwise, you have to enter pin or pattern whatsoever you have set on your phone. As soon as you, you will enter it and press it, then it will show you you are a developer now. Afterward, you will see developer options in system settings just below or I would say above the system update section. These are the developer options. So by default, it is turned on. Now, we will discuss few other options that are very useful and beneficial and one has to turn it on on each and every phone regardless of ASUS phone. You can turn it on on Samsung, Realme, OnePlus, Google, whatsoever phone you are using. So firstly, we'll move to the debugging section and here you have to turn it on this particular USB debugging option. Once you will be tapping here, it will prompt you like USB debugging is intended for development purposes only. You use it to copy data between your computer and your device, install apps on your device without notification and read log data and so on. So just tap on OK. So by turning uh, this particular option on, this will surely help you. Let's say uh, at any certain point, your phone has been stuck in the booting process and afterward, uh, it, like uh, you are not able to uh, boot it successfully to the login screen on home screen. So in that particular case, you have to do queue fill method or either you have to follow some other things uh, to restore it back because it might either be soft break or hard break. In case of soft break, we can do it like restoring it using some queue fill method or some stock rooms and so on. So if you have turned it on, then that this uh, option, then this will surely be helpful for you. Again, in debugging section, you will find one more option that is related to game driver preferences so this is applicable or i would say available uh, in android 10 only so if you have already viewed my uh, video in android Pi, then this option was not available at that time so if you want to have a dedicated like more depth of information about this particular information then i have already created a dedicated video in the past and i'll be sharing the url for the same in the description box below so that you can go over afterward now we'll move to the drawing section and we'll see one or two more settings so this is a drawing section and here you will see windows animation scale, transition animation scale and animator duration scale. So by default, all these three values are having one X as an uh, option. So I always suggest to keep it as 0.5X so that your animation scale or duration scale would be much faster and it will feel like your uh, phone is really performing well. Or I would say uh, you, you can even imagine that maybe uh, at one X it was, uh, I would say, little bit lagging although it was not lagging but your animation is now quite fast so it will give you and some sort of idea or i would say some sort of imagination like uh, your phone is now behaving quite fast so after this now we'll move to the uh, another setting that is theming again this is not available in android 9 or i would say android pine uh, for asus and for max pro m1 and m2 so again, this is theming section. So by default, accent color is device default. Headline body font is device default. Icon shape is device default. So by default, the color or accent color is green or I would say device default. Let's change this to space. Now you will see that this has been changed here and even in quick settings or system wide. Aside to that headline body font. So by default, it is device default, but we they have already provided one more option that is Noto Sari for Source and Pro. Just select this and it will change the I would say font or body font throughout the system. Aside to that icon shape, so by default it is rounded. Let's change to my favorite one that is teardrop. And now you will see that it is again uh, like lavid or applied to the whole system wide. Now after turning it on, if at any given point of time you want to turn it off, then you just have to tap on or you just have to press this toggle button. But before that, let me confirm you one more thing. So whenever you will be turning it off, all the settings that you have already enabled here will also be turned off. 
so afterward again uh, like after uh, turning it off and again maybe in future if you want to turn it off then you have to turn these settings again so i'm just going to turn it off now you can see that these settings have been reset as well now if you will move back then you will see that that particular option has also been hide or hidden so again you have to move if now again let's assume that you want to turn it on again follow the same process by moving to uh, about section then bill number tab 7 to 8 time enter pin or pattern if you have set up then it will prompt you are a developer now and afterward you will find that developer option here and again you will see that developer option has been turned on but the settings that you have applied have been reset to the default ones so this was all from my side related to how to turn on the developer options for asus zenfone max pro m1 and asus zenfone max pro m2 hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future finally it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks